Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. Many of my subscribers are here because of my Upwork content, and I have a playlist full of different Upwork tutorials. Well, in the past few weeks, Upwork has made some changes, so I've been getting comments on my videos telling me they don't understand the new dashboard. So I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how things have changed. So once you sign on to Upwork, you're going to see some changes right here. Instead of my jobs, it now says deliver work. And instead of reports, it now says manage finances. So I'm going to address these changes here and give you a brief recap on how to search for jobs and find work on Upwork, how to apply to jobs, deliver your work, get payment, and so on and so forth. So let's begin. So first let's talk about finding work. Log into Upwork and you can click here on find work, find work or here you can search for jobs. So let's say for example, you wanted to look for thumbnail designer jobs. Type that in, and now you'll want to filter down. Let's say you are a beginner, so you're going to look for entry level or intermediate jobs. If you have intermediate level experience, you can select if you want an hourly rate job or fixed price, let's say fixed price. Number of proposals means how many people have submitted a proposal so far or applied to the job. So let's say you don't want too much competition. Let's go less than five or, you know, up to 15. We're going to select payment verified. So these are clients that have verified their payment information. Then you can go by client history. This is if they have hired someone on Upwork before. Let's say we want that. We're going to leave client location and time zones blank. And you can see there are many different jobs available. And if you want to save a job, you can just click right here on the save icon. And then later on, you can click here to view all your saved jobs. Or at the top under find work, we've got saved jobs. So that way you can view all the jobs first and then apply later on. And if you don't like a job for whatever reason, you could just put just not interested and that will hide the job from your list. So to apply to a job, you'll just click on the job you want to apply to. You can view some more information about the job. You'll click apply now, and this is called submitting a proposal. You can propose with your general profile or if you have a specialized profile. Again, I have individual tutorials on everything you need to know about Upwork, so make sure to check them out if you need more help. Then the bid is how much you're willing to do the job for. Upwork takes 10%. This is the amount you'd receive. You'd put how long the project will take you, and then you have a chance to write your cover letter. Again, I have tutorials on how to write your cover letter, and now there's even this AI option here to get tips on your cover letter. And then you have a chance to upload attachments, so you can upload a sample of your work, or you could link them to your portfolio. And then you would click send for eight connects, and connects are what you use to apply to jobs. You can purchase connects, or you get 10 free connects, I believe, each month. So once you have applied to a job, if you want to view your proposal, you'd go to the top where it says find work and click on proposals and offers. And this will show you any offers you've received, any invitations to interview, active proposals or submitted proposals. So now let's talk about the new deliver work tab. So if you hover your mouse over deliver work and you click on your active jobs, this is going to bring you to the page that shows you all of your jobs, all of your active hourly jobs, any milestones that you have active, awaiting milestones, and any payment requests. So you can see I have two active hourly rate jobs. Awaiting milestones means you're waiting for a client that has hired you on a fixed price job to give you another job, basically. And then payment requests are if you have submitted requests for payment. So I had a subscriber ask me how they could submit their work for payment because they were confused how to use this new dashboard. So you can go to your active jobs. And then if it's an hourly rate job, as long as you have used Upwork's time tracker app to track the hour that you have worked, it will be automatic. You just have to wait some time. So if you have accepted an offer for a fixed price job, click on active milestones. And what you'll do is you'll click submit work for payment. So it says your payment will be released once the client approves your work then it has the amount that will be released. And then you can also provide a message. So you could say, hello, I have completed the work as requested. And you could attach the file as well here and then click submit. And then now you'll be able to find your payment request under the payment request tab, and you will wait for them to approve it. 
Oftentimes, a client will automatically approve your payment, but if they don't, make sure to take advantage of that Submit Work for Payment button. So you can also click on Hourly Work Diary, and then here you'll select the client that you're working with, and you'll be able to view all of the tracked time. You also have an option to add manual time, but I recommend you always use the time tracker just to make sure you get paid. There's also a client history button. So if you click that, you'll be able to view all of your contracts. So now let's look at the manage finances tab, which used to be reports. If you hover your mouse over that, let's click on financial overview. So this is going to show you the work that you have in progress, any work that you have in review, pending payments, and then available funds that are available to withdraw. You'll have your timesheet here for any hourly rate jobs you have ongoing, and then any fixed price milestones that you have in progress here. There's also your reports under the Manage Finances tab, and here you can export a weekly summary of all your work or a weekly summary by client. Next, there's the Billings and Earnings tab. So you can view your earnings by client for the past three years, and you can click on any of these clients to view the data, to view the lifetime build amount, and then download a report if you need. There's also a tab for transactions and invoices. So you can view any membership fees if you have the Upwork Freelancer Plus plan, or if you've purchased Connects, or any of your fixed price or hourly earnings. And you can download your invoices here as well. You can also download a certificate of earnings, and that will give you an official certificate showing how much you have earned from Upwork in the last year or in the last few quarters. And then under the Payments tab, you can select Withdraw Earnings. You can see your available balance and you can select to get paid now if you want to withdraw the earnings. You can also set up your withdrawal schedule and add any withdrawal methods. Under this tab, you can also access any tax forms and tax information. And of course, over to the side, we have the messages tab and this is where you are able to communicate with any of your clients or potential clients. And as always at the side here, you can click on your profile icon and here is where you can click on your profile to make any adjustments to your profile. You can also click on stats and trends. And this is where you're able to see your stats for your earnings over the last 12 months and your job success score. And you can also view how many proposals you have sent, profile views, and so on and so forth. So this has just been a quick update to show you the new dashboard in Upwork and where you can access all of this information. Aside from this, everything else is the same. So if you have any other questions regarding applying to jobs or writing a cover letter, make sure to check out my other more in-depth tutorials about Upwork. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.